I will explain you about uh, this keyword concept in Java. In previous class, I explained about a static keyword in Java. Why we use static keyword and what are the importance importances of static keyword in Java. In today class, I explain you about what are the importances of this keyword. Generally. That this keyword is used to refer the current object of a class. Because if you created 100 object to the same class, how can you identify the current object of a particular class? Okay, we can identify or we can refer the current object of a class using the, this keyword. Just uh, there are some of the uses of the important uses of the, this keywords I written over there. I will explain one by one after that I will give the example. Then this is a reference variable. The reference variable is nothing but alternative name of the existing variable or alias name. Alias name, because why is alias name which refer to the current object. Okay, what is the alternate name of the current object is this keyword. Got my point. It is a reference variable that refers to the current object of a class. Because which refers to the only if you created the 10 objects to a same class this keyword which refers to the only current object of a class then some of the uses of the this keyword we look at here what are the uses of the this keyword the, it can be used to refer the current class instance variables current class instance variable okay which Concept can be used to differentiate the instance variable with the local variable. Okay, if local variables are instance variable both are same, but how do you differentiate by using the this keyword which refers to the current class instance variable? How it is possible? I will explain you with the help of the example. Got my point? Okay, I will write the example over here. First example. It refers to the current class instance variable. Simple example I am going to give for that one. For example, class A, then int x comma y, then another constructor is there, int what is called int x into y x equal to x, y equal to y, then y display, what is called system dot out dot print then x equal to plus x system dot out dot println I am displaying the y value at this time then y equal plus y then display function has been closed uh, then what is called the class has been closed in this class is having the two instance variables x comma y then here also the local variables the parameters or arguments of the constructor is having the same name x and y x equal to y and y equal to y if you display the output here end class over here then I want to take the another class uh, class this demo here public static void name May string args, there is no space. I am writing over there. After that, in that class, I want to create the object to a class here because it has added the constructor. While you creating the argument, you must provide the two integer values. Then a object has been created. A OB is the object name new a 
then 10 comma 20. Because whenever you create the object in a class A, class A is having the parameter as a constructor, which is having the two integer argument, we must provide the two integer, then x value will be 10, y value will be 20. Then at that time, the x equal to x, y equal to y. Then if you call in the display method, then ob dot display, what is the problem with this output? Then calling the display system x equal, what is the output of this program is, then x equal to y equal to. What is the output? Here x equal to, but here we are providing the value x equal to x, y equal to y. But here the x equal to 0, the y equal to 0. Because here the x variable can be considered as a local variable. Whenever you display the x value and y value, the default value should be displayed for the x and y. Okay, how do you differentiate this x and y and this x and y? Okay, we can differentiate with the help of the what? This keyword. This keyword is to refer the current class instance variable. How do you resolve this type of problems using the, this keyword? Okay, how do you resolve this problem? You can resolve it by using the this way. Previous example output is x equal to 0 then y will, y will become 0. But if you write here small changes over here this dot x this dot y at that time both are same. How do you differentiate the class instance variable with the local variable? This dot x which refer the instance variable this dot y which refer the what? This trans variable y. That's why at this time, what is the output will be displayed whenever displaying the whenever you call invokes display method, then at this time the x value becomes 10, then y value becomes 20. This is this keyword can be used to invoke the current class instance variable. Got my point? Here, yeah, this keyword, first use of this one, it can be used to refer to current class instance variable by using this exam. Got my point? Any doubt you ask me? Yeah. Here, yeah, this is the difference between uh, to resolve the or to resolve the conflict between instance variable with the local variables. Okay? And that is the one of the use of the this keyword. And then it can be used to invoke current class method how do we call the current class method okay i want to use another method over here Then wide print x equal to plus x. Then class would be ended. Here at this time the class A is having the one constructor and two methods. Here, by using the object, we called display method. But how do you call the print method by using the display method? Just if you write like this, okay, no need to clear the print. Okay, when you write the print, when you call the print method, by default, the compiler were added to the, this keyword. To the, implicitly, it will add the, this keyword to the method print to call the print method. Got my point? This dot print. Here at that time control will come to here. Here one thing you have to remember this keyword whenever you call the other method then it should be a first statement in the program. Keep it in your mind. This dot print 
then if you remove this there is no problem okay by default the compatibility if you want to write explicitly there is no problem this that parent at that time the control will comes to here x equal to x what is the x equal to 10 will be displayed then after that control will come to the next statement in the method then y equal to 20 will be displayed okay this is to invoke the current class method okay you can call another method you can call the method another method from one method to another method okay this is this dot print if you remove the this keyword there is no problem you get the output at that time the compiler will add the keyword this to this method okay if you want to add explicitly there is no problem okay if it does not add the this keyword explicitly by default the compiler will add the, this keyword to the print method implicitly okay remember it yeah this is the second use then when you come to the third use of the this keyword use it to invoke the current class constructor a int x into y this dot sorry this dot x equal to x this dot y equal to y then I want to take the another constructor uh, what is called a default constructor here well I want to write a simple statement it is called using this keyword then why display Six yeah. method will be closed. Class at this time, the class is having the two constructor default constructor and parameter as a constructor. Here, when the object has been created, at this time. The control will come to here, the x value becomes 10, y will become 1. How do you invoke the default constructor? Here we can use the this of without passing any effect because the default constructor does not have any arguments. That's why how do you call this constructor? This of this of then followed by the same code. It must be a first statement in the constructor itself. Then at that time, when you call it here, the control will come to here. It is called using this keyword. After the this dot x equal to x, this dot y equal to y statement will be executed. After that, ob dot display, then control will execute the display method x equal to 10 and y equal to 20. First, it will be message will be displayed over here. After that, x will become 10, y value becomes 20 message will be a display. This is used to call the another constructor. Okay, if here I did not pass any arguments. Okay, at that time from this we can call the default constructor. Now, how do you call the parameterized constructor from the default constructor? Then I remove over here. Then here I did not pass any arguments over here. Then at that time there is no value should be passed while creating the object. At that time the default constructor will get executed. Here, how do we call the parameter as constructor 10, 20? Then this of 10, because this parameter as constructor is having the two arguments. This of 10, 20. At that time, x value becomes 10, the y value becomes 20. This dot x equal to x, then this dot y equal to y. Well, what is the output of this x equal to 10, y equal to 20? After that, this message will be displayed. This is, it is called using this keyword.
Okay, I have a message you are writing, the same message will be displayed over here. Here previously, from parameterized constructor, we called the default constructor. At this time, from the default constructor, because I did not pass any arguments over here, from the default constructor, we called the parameterized constructor. This is another example for the to invoke the current class constructor. Got my point? Clear to all? Yeah. There are three uses have been completed. Then how it can be passed as an argument in the method call or constructor call? Idea. This can be this keyword can be passed as argument. Passed as an argument. Now there is no space, that's why I written over here. The method will be close. I want to take the another method YDN. Then M of this. Then here also, it is a single class. I want to write the public static white. Public static white main. String arts. Then object has been created. O B equal to new class then ob dot what is called l yeah then main main method has been closed over here then class should be ended out here the main method has included in the single class okay that is the choice is yours it has two methods m and n method okay then in the inside M method, I return some statement a system dot object. This keyword can be passed as an argument. Here, whenever the object has been created to your class A, then OB dot L, if you want to call the method, we can call it by using the object. Then control will come to here. M of this, this means which refer to the current object. M of this because whenever you write the statement, the control will come to here current class object because that's why whenever you call this keyword can pass as an argument okay then that object can be declared as a that class name only okay here obj is a reference object has been cleared uh, has been created to a class a then when the control will comes to here this keyword what are the values can hold that will be placed in the variable as an object obj, reference variable object obj. Then the system that order internally, this keyword can be passed as argument will be missed. How this keyword can be passed as an argument, we can look at this example. Okay, simple example has been written. Okay, generally uh, this concept will be used in the event only concept. How this keyword can be passed as an argument. Okay. The simple program I written over here. Okay, how this keyword can be passed as a first the control will come to here. Then inside that method, this keyword can be passed as an argument while calling the method M. Then control will come to here because that object can be declared as the same class. Then we can able to write a statement or inside the method or some particular statements will be executed. Okay, this is the for please. Okay. In today's class, I explained about the, this keyword, what are the uses of the, uh, this keyword in Java. If you have any doubt regarding the, this keyword, uh, please post your query in the comment box window. Okay. If you like the channel, please subscribe my channel. Okay. Thank you one and all for watching my videos.